Greetings to you all, invited as special guest today. My name is Am, and I'll be the MC for this session. First of all, I wish to welcome you all to the opening ceremony of the Office of the National Unity Government in Washington, D.C. We truly appreciate your presence here at this auspicious day. For our program today, it's relative, relatively compact, so we will go through them one by one. First, we will inaugurate the ceremony by playing the national anthems, first with the U.S. anthem, national anthem, followed by the Myanmar national anthem. Then, we will have the opening remarks from our Foreign Minister of the National Unity Government. Next, we will hear some remarks from the Under Secretary of State from the State Department. Finally, we will conclude the session with a photo session. Therefore, um, without further ado, I declare opening of the session. Um, may we have our team to play the national anthems, please? Joining us 
for the auspicious day of the, our office opening ceremony. As our MC tells, like it's a comparatively very combat, but very unique opening ceremony. And today is a, that is one special day, and so we come together to mark uh, the opening of the formal representative office of the National Unity Government in Washington. And we do so in person, and not for once on Zoom. Uh, it is very, <laughs> it's very good to see you, all of you, for we are real. And every day the National Unity Government of Burma strives to create a new Burma, built not on brave and Tiberi at the end of again, but a bummer founded on the wishes of the people and devoted to their interest. This new representative office for the National Unity Government is going to play an essential part in the success of our work. This formal opening comes just a few weeks after the passing of the law and the resolutions that together will help us in our duty to create a new bummer. From New York comes Security Council Resolution 2669, and from Washington, the Bummer Act, and its commitment that it is the policy of the United States to support the people of Burma in their struggle for democracy, human rights, and justice. I take this statement seriously. I hear in it a reflection of what the Burmese people are telling the world every day. Our people speak and they are silent, they walk and they strike, they defend their homes and give their lives and freedom for a future that is democratic, inclusive, just and founded on human rights. The people of Burma says no each day to the unlawful military hunter. A hunter that does right what it, what it cannot dominate, that rapes and murders, that what it cannot sell. This office is therefore both an, um, a method no to the hunter and a yes to a future Burma where sovereignty belongs to the people and is not stolen from them again. So that is why it, it is very honor and very much thank you, United States government and each and every of you to be here with us. Uh, such an auspicious day of, not just only for our office, but also for the relationship between the United States and Burma. Thank you so much. Thank you very much, Your Excellency, for the kind remarks. Ladies and gentlemen, I now have the honor to invite Ms. Elizabeth Zayel, the Undersecretary of State for Civilian Security, Democracy and Human Rights, to deliver her remarks. Madam Minister, Madam Minister, Ministers, Excellencies, Distinguished Guests, thank you so much for welcoming me here today. We deeply admire your dedication to your country and establishment of a future inclusive federal democracy in Myanmar. This liaison office and the diverse grouping here today is a testament to those efforts. I want to use this occasion to reiterate the United States' strong support for the people of Myanmar who continue to bravely voice their aspirations for democracy rule of law, justice, and respect for human rights. This includes support for the work of the NUG and of all of the pro-democracy and civil society actors and ethnic leaders whom the regime is trying to brutally suppress. Through our robust messaging and actions, the United States continues to urge the military regime to reverse course, release all those unjustly detained, including democratic political leaders, journalists, civil society advocates, and foreign citizens, allow unhindered humanitarian access, and engage in meaningful dialogue 
that acknowledges the will of the people of Myanmar, and not the will of a handful of military leaders and those who benefit financially from them. The people of Myanmar continue to show that they do not want to spend another day under a military dictatorship, and we will continue to support them and all those working to support the people of Myanmar's aspirations for peace and multi-party democracy. We have been clear that the regime's plans for illegitimate elections in 2023 have no chance of being free or fair. Any election without the full participation of Myanmar's people, including the NUG and ethnic and religious groups, would represent a naked attempt by the regime to cling to power. We are also urging all partners, including in the region, to refrain from endorsing regime-led elections. We celebrate the impressive and unprecedented collaboration among Myanmar's many pro-democracy elements, the NUG, ethnic organizations, religious groups, and civil society, and we appreciate the attendance of some of these groups here and their representatives today. A genuine and inclusive Myanmar cannot exist without the inclusion and contributions of Myanmar's various ethnic groups. This liaison office can serve as an important platform for the NUG, ethnic groups, and other members of the pro-democracy movement to collaborate and strategize in creating a future, genuine, democratic Myanmar. For our part, the United States will remain a strong partner of yours in all these efforts. Thank you. Thank you indeed, Under Secretary, for her kind remarks. So um, finally, uh, we've come to the last part of our session. It's relatively quick. So um, may I now declare successfully conclusion of our pro opening ceremony of the National Unity Government Office in Washington, D.C. May we give us a round of applause? Thank you. Thank you very much. Um, I now wish to open the photo session. And at the same time, um, I wish to inform you all that we have refreshments at the back. And please enjoy the food and drinks. Stay warm, stay healthy, and I hope you will have a nice conversation in the program. Thank you very much. ဒီနေ့ပေါ့เนาะကျွန်တော်ဝါရှင်တန်ဒီစီမှာနိုင်ငံတိုင်းဝန်ကြီးဌာနာယုံဆိုပြီးမဲ့ဒါမူတိုက
ลูเจเนอะไดนาดีเอ็นแทมบูไม่ใช่เว้ยแม้ตาหาลงเว้ยก่อนสิการในตัวบ้านนี้ที่เดี๋ยวส่งไปแจ้งช้ามาทางเข
ဒီမှာနိုင်ငံသားဤကိုကြည့်စုပြင်စကားပြောရင်းတဲ့ဤကိုတွေ့ဆုံးပုံပဲဖြစ်ပါတယ်ဘောနော်ဒီဒီခွ